Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Julian Brands card to review today. I figure I just do this introduction through Footbin while I do the card afterwards because I honestly just wait for the Footbin solutions because Gyu's obviously busy, right? So uh, yeah, with Julian Brands, guys, we're taking a look at a card who is six foot one, four star, four star capabilities with the high medium work rate. So again, right off the bat for the meta of the game, definitely starting off really nicely. Uh, this card definitely looks like the type of card you give a Hunter chemistry style to because of the way that his dribbling is set up, because of the way that the pace is set up with the shooting as well. Now, this card has potential for a future upgrade because of the fact that if they boost the dribbling a little bit, it could actually be a really good physical type player to use in this game, whether that's in the actual cam position, uh, striker position, preferably next to somebody else. He could actually be really good because here's the thing, guys, right? His 81 card is already in the cam position, so that's very important, right? So with the upgrade being in the cam position as well, at 87 attacking positioning, we're going to have to see, see what his attacking AI is like on the Hunter chemistry saw while that is being boosted because the card is going to have the acceleration, but not necessarily the sprint speed. But again, it is a headliners card. So if he gets any sort of upgrade in the future, that's going to be great to work with, right? Uh, In-game traits, he has... Let's see what he has for traits. So he has the flare traits. He has the outside foot shot trait. Interesting, interesting. So yeah, in-game attributes, guys, we're going to be working with 99 acceleration with 89 for sprint speed. Base card stats for shooting will be improved drastically. What's important, again, is the fact that he does have the shot power at a 92. And with the Hunter chemistry style, we are going to be boosting the finishing by a plus 10 while also boosting the attacking positioning by a plus 5. Base card stats for passing is pretty solid on the card. You don't have to look at that too much. Uh, so that's pretty decent. Dribbling we do have to experiment with. I don't expect him to be a crazy responsive dribbling because of the fact that he does have the high and average body type with the dribbling stats set up the way that it is. Uh, so yeah, we'll obviously be taking a look at that as well. In the future, depending on how they actually improve the shooting and the pace, depending on how far he goes as an upgrade, an engine chemistry cell you know, could be ideal, but at the same time, they're probably going to be boosting the dribbling too if he actually ends up getting those upgrades. So I think it's either going to be a Hunter Flex or a Hawk Flex, depending on how far they actually, you know, upgrade the card. But maybe maybe a finisher too, but no, it's because of the pace. The pace, you have to upgrade a lot. So the Hunter makes sense for that specifically, especially with the shooting, because even if he gets one upgrade, the shooting is going to be significantly better. Base card stats for drilling will be significantly better, but... Yeah, he also has the 85 stamina, which is a pretty decent cutoff to have in this game. But because of the fact that he is a six foot one player, guys, uh, you do want to use him as a physical oriented player through the middle as much as possible. Right. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and complete this SPC and I'll show you guys what we're rocking. OK, guys, so the way that we're going to be lined up in game is going to look like this. So we're going to go ahead and use uh, the 4-1-2-1-2 where he's going to be playing up top. We're just going to go ahead and switch some of these things here and there. Kunku will play as the defensive player. Ends him up top with Julian Brandt. The Frel here with Dembele. Perfect. And then we'll have him in the 4 4 2 as well. So Thorgan will switch here and Kunku here. Switch that there and then switch this there. Okay, cool. So yeah, we'll try him out in both. Hopefully he's a beast. Ooh, kick clash. Yeah, we gotta. I gotta adjust that. It's not like a kick clash, kick clash, but I like two distinct different colors, you know? You guys know me. Okay, so he's offside, but he does make the runs on the forward runs with the high medium work rates. So we'll see if that's like a consistent thing in different areas. First time touch was a little bit rough to work with there. Oh, no way. The pass there is better by Benzema. Would have been fine. First time. There you go. Well done, well done. So with his dribbling being the way that it is because of his body type and dribbling, I had to utilize his shielding a little bit more to kind of work that space. So he definitely has the high medium work rates, guys, for sure. He just takes a little bit longer to kind of like go into those spaces because of the... Uh, because the body type, right? Oh, I try to go for a double, but after doing the first skill move, the second one's definitely going to come off really rough for sure. A lob? First time? Oh. 
the pass was a little bit better right there. Would have been a nice goal. Or maybe a, maybe a goal. I'm not sure if it would have gone off. Could have made that pass there if I wanted to, for sure. First time. Touch, shot on a white. Did they... That that white looks way clearer. What the heck? I mean, he's pretty tall. I was trying to go for a header there, but it didn't work out. On a white as well. Like I said, guys, he actually does make the run. So if, I, if you have like a forward run tactic on him, he does play to those high medium work rates. First time. Yeah, those are never really going to come off consistently, but you got to give it a try. Hmm. Continues to run downwards there. Okay. Oh. Maybe I should have gone for the far post anyways. Because I was going to get blocked there. Nice. Very good. Ooh, almost, almost. I did get him on the shot cancel. Not a bad strike on a on a green there. That's a really bad angle to shoot from too. What's interesting that I'm noticing about him on this tactic right now is that he keeps pushing out wide. A card like this. A card like this, you don't really want him to push out wide that much. So that's where you may want to give him the uh, stay central instruction. Nice. Good goal there. Just had to work some small angles. Work the near post as much as possible. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually give him. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to keep him on stay central. This is a physical type of dude, right? Like, I don't mind him going into the side positions, but he doesn't have, like, you know, Benzema attacking AI. A card like this, I could definitely see being used mainly in the cam position so far. Uh, but again, you can use him as a secondary striker and it'd be fine, too. The shooting is actually coming off okay, to be fair. First time. There we go. Always good to get those uh, those bounce passes off for those uh, strikes there. Nice. There we go. Yeah, the power strikes, like I said, they they come off well. I'm just gonna move him into the uh, cam position this time. Defrel actually has like really like his attacking eye is sick. High medium work rates as well. Julian Brandt is just bigger, right? Uh, his is pretty decent, but it's not as good as like Benzema or Defrel, right? It's still pretty good to use in the middle of the play again, because, you know, when you play in the cam position or striker position, you're already a high medium. Most of the times it actually ends up being really, really cool to use. But uh, yeah, I just want to see how he plays in the cam area uh, for the most part. The thing is, right, is that it almost feels like limiting to put stay central on him as a striker. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I really hate giving instructions to strikers when... I don't think their attacking area is like good enough. Does that make sense? Like I, that's just how I feel. It's like me using Luigi Diaz through the middle. Um, I, the cam position, like his original area, might be his best spot. But I just want to kind of experiment with it. Ah, the registration. What was that? No registration right there. Nice to Frell. We'll take that. No, that shot was so poor. That shot was so poor. Guys, uh, the way that he's moving across the pitch, significantly better in the cam area. The biggest thing that you have to work with is dribbling. That's That's what I would say. But the way that he's moving across the pitch is way better in his original position.
Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Julian Brandt card. So one thing I will say is that it's very important that for his original position being the cam area with the high medium work rates, uh, he does actually move across the pitch really nicely. I will say that I preferred him the most in the cam position because whenever I feel like I have to give an instruction to a player in the striker position, I, by default, don't think that their attacking AI is that incredible, right? But he does still make very good runs, even on the balance instructions if you're playing him in a two-striker lineup. It's just not a personal preference of mine. Like, let's just say, for instance, uh, I put DeFrel and Benzema up top in the striker area. I think both of them move very, very well in that area, right? With Brandt, I feel like his, pe his best position is actually the cam spot uh, to be played as a player that can actually potentially score some goals for you and get into some good opportunities. The biggest thing that you're going to have to work with, regardless of whatever, you know, upgrade the card gets in the future, is going to be dribbling, right? Because the way that his dribbling is set up for base card stats with a high and average body type at six foot one, you do have to work with that. But if you don't mind using him as the physical oriented player and he's playing that camp position, you can work with the left stick dribbling yourself. He actually shoots the ball uh, quite well when given the right opportunities to. Like if he goes for like those first time strikes and stuff, like some, sometimes it was a little bit weird with him because base card stats for finishing at the end of the day is at an 83. It's not like it's in the close 90s. But on a Hunter Kemmerich style, I think improving it as much as possible will make the card feel as good as possible, right? Uh, it was just that one shot where he like really, really scuffed it. Uh, but it's one of those like weird angles for a first time where if the, sh if the card itself is not you know, by default, like meta base, like from the beginning cards, like these ones, they're going to scuff them more times than not, right? But uh, with the pace being boosted a little bit in the acceleration and sprint speed department, it's definitely very, very helpful to work with his high medium work rates as well. In regards to future upgrades for a card like this, guys, um, the biggest one that they have to improve is dribbling, right? The dribbling needs to be improved as much as possible to work with that six foot one height and high and average body type. Uh, it's not an SBC that I would personally complete myself, but for someone that wants to complete this card as a concept card, I don't think 66K is terrible. Maybe I like when concept cards are around like 50K personally, but you know, on a Hunter Chemist self, you actually want to use him in his original position. You want to have some, some fun with some Borussia Dorman players, uh, then you definitely can do that. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. Oh, last thing is the links. I have to check out the links for this card. Not similar. Did I just see Fakir? I will freak out if I just saw Fakir. Nah, no chance. Even this Phil Foden, this Phil Foden card is actually underrated. It's because he doesn't have the weak foot, but he he actually like he's pretty good. Fakir there. No, 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 no. Take this out immediately. Okay. No. No, no, no. Anyways, uh, let's see here. So Kimish, uh, Kimish, uh, Sane, Neuer, Holland, Sule, Sule. Yeah, Sule is a pretty decent link. Sule is actually pretty sick. After the upgrade, he's definitely very, very nice. Du -du -du. You get some legends in there. Witzel with the Borussia Dortmund link, but he is on 72 pace, which is kind of weird. I would assume that they would boost that a little bit more. Perfect link would be with Matt Hummels. And then Royce. Oh, Collins. Collins would be a good link. How much is this Collins card? Wow, fair play. Yeah, that's actually, like, great job on that. That's actually very impressive. I never actually ended up trying out that card because the holidays was really busy, but... Uh, yeah, like I said, guys, non SBC that I would do. I consider him a concept card for sure. And you guys know when I consider it a concept card, you know the vibes of that one. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys for the next video. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.